Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go over in this interesting podcast episode, um, Bitcoin HFT client using for fix API. Now, this is not only just for any asset class or retail broker or primarily an exchange or some form of um, higher end uh, HFT shop, let's say, you can see here. This discussion came up in my Telegram group, and basically there was a talk about how this guy wants a client written for HFT use with a, a FIX protocol. Now, for those that don't know, FIX is an institutional protocol used by banks, hedge funds, and whatnot, and brokers to be able to universally send data and <clears throat> orders via the protocol. So this person came back and says, well, you know, here's how it's supposed to look like and the advantages. Okay, so first, uh, uh, you know, fi fix is the better way. But at the end of the day, there's the REST API as well, which is the HTTP way of uh, sending the data and orders via REST API. And uh, there's lots of restrictions, as I said, um, access restrictions, one currency pair every 15 seconds, um, hundreds of pairs, it's almost impossible to get all stat opportunities in a reasonable time. Um, you would need uh, several proxy servers, um, which would mean, you know, a bigger infrastructure, which is not very practical. Um, and here's another one. Rest is for losers. Um, but there's only this is the same person. No, so it's so many different. Um, Fix conceptually hails from the days of analog telephone modems. While establishing a connection took better part a minute. Now, I think problem with fix is it requires implementation of the producer subscriber design pattern that is way too much for the programmers who never ventured beyond request response patterns. Uh, and then there's all the different libraries and da da da. Now, as I said, this can be applied to crypto cryptocurrency exchanges as well as retail or any pretty well any broker at a high level so the question came out what broker support fix and there's a few GDAX um, and uh, I can't remember there's like one or two and uh, it it's an important discussion but I figure you know what I'm gonna leave it go with the rest API it's simpler but the thing is is that here we need to figure out, okay, if we're gonna go REST API, what projects are there available? So as you know, there's really the three programming language choices of C++, Java, and Python, if you're staying outside of the Windows world. So I have a list here of some of the projects that are available. Uh, this one is done in Python, Bitcoin Exchange Market Data Feed Handler. You can, do, you, you can hook everything up in a variety of databases, like I think there's SQLite, uh, MySQL, KDB. Here's some of the, um, oh, and there's MySQL, SQLite, and Zero MQ. Now, here's some of the supported, here's the popular uh, exchanges. So it's using RESTful or WebSocket. So we have BitMEX, Bitstamp, BitREx, GDAX, or I call it GDAX, Kraken. Poly Polyonex, uh, OKCoin, OK and a few other ones. That's all done in, in, in uh, Python. But it, this is one interesting one I'd like to look into. As for me, I'll probably go with the uh, database channel is using 0MQ and then just push it into my Redis because with Redis, I now have the Redis working with C++, which I never had before. I just put up a video on that earlier today. 
Uh, let me just show you the other um, Python. Uh, I'm just trying to find one. I believe this is uh, Python. Uh, no. Okay, so there's this one in Go. This is what this is the most popular one. Here's all the exchanges, the ones that I uh, mentioned before, including uh, Gemini, another one. Um, so there's that. There's also this one. Is that the go? Yeah, so that's, that's Thrasher. The users Thrasher on GitHub. Go Crypto Trader is the name of the pro project. So we've got a Java one called X, the letter X, change. Um, this one's, as it says, in Java. Um, so let me see here what we got. It's a lot more complicated compared to Python, but at least you'll get more. It's a little more robust and, and a little more um, supported. So here's some of the um, exchanges again. Market data, trading, and account. Uh, all the major ones. I think one of these had support up to 60. So it's pretty, pretty big. Now, when you get into uh, the good old, the good old, uh, C++, all I could find were bots. Couldn't find anything that was multiple uh, exchange support other than in the bot itself. So it's not as evident. So here, here's an example of one bot, crypto trading bot. Um, I'm not sure if this is the interface. It, oh, sorry, yeah, it is a web interface. Um, so there is that, and here's some of the major uh, exchanges supported. We got Coinbase, GDAX, Bitfinex, Polion, po po Polio, Nex, Corbit, OKCoin, and HitBC. And uh, you know that's just to give you more breadth. But again, this is C++, and uh, that's pretty well it. So just want to show you that there is support other than uh, the um, fix. Uh, and the other problem with fix is, you know, you, you have to build a lot of the plumbing on top of the, 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 the C++, like for instance, the visualization, the interface, uh, all that. It's a big job. So you want to keep it simple for now. Okay, hopefully uh, they'll help you out. Talk to you later.